Today, we will be discussing four main topics on the CC3220 timer framework, the Cystic Timer, GPT or General Purpose Timers, the Slow Clock Counter, and the Watchdog Timer. First, we'll discuss the Cystic Timer. The Cystic Timer is an integrated 24-bit clear on write system timer. The timer features a flexible control mechanism and functions as a decrementing wrap-on-zero counter. It runs off the 80 MHz system clock. An important note is that this timer will stop in low-power deep sleep and hibernate modes. This timer is often utilized as the RTOS tick timer. There are some key points to mention concerning the SysTick timer. All RTOS examples use SysTick as the RTOS tick source. Because of this, RTOS-based applications should not use this timer. If you plan on using TI drivers with a non-OS application, you should also not use this timer. Shown here are the function calls for the SysTick timer. This includes to enable and disable the timer, register and unregister the interrupt, and set the tick period. In the next section, we will introduce the general purpose timers. The general purpose timers run off the system clock and can be used in the count up or down configuration. An important note is that these timers will be stopped during low power deep sleep and hibernate modes. In normal operation mode, these timers can be configured in a variety of ways, including one shot, periodic, time capture, and pulse width modulation modes. In one shot and periodic mode, the timer can be used in either a 16-bit or 32-bit mode. There are four instances of the general purpose timers. You can use a single instance as one 32-bit timer or as two 16-bit timers. TI drivers support the pulse width modulation operation mode. The general purpose timer can also be used to trigger an interrupt to the UDMA controller. Shown here are the API calls made available to configure the GPT. These last API calls allow the user to configure the timers with interrupt vectors, showcase the ability to check the status of an interrupt, and use DMA for a timer event. In this next section, we will discuss the slow clock counter. The slow clock counter is a 48-bit counter that runs a slow clock, 32.768 kHz. This clock, unlike the general purpose timers, is retained across low power deep sleep and hibernate modes. This timer can generate an interrupt by reaching a match value and has the ability to wake up the system from hibernate. Here are some APIs that are available to control the slow clock counter. The APIs allow you to see and edit the clock counter match value and check to see the current value of the timer. In our last section, we will discuss the watchdog timer. The watchdog timer is a 32-bit counter that will reset the system if the interrupt is not cleared. The timer runs from the system clock and can be loaded with a particular value. The CC3220 has one watchdog timer module which is supported by TI drivers. For usage and implementation of the watchdog timer module, see the TI drivers API guide in the docs TI drivers folder of the CC3220 SDK.